Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Um, 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 la, 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 spirits, Claudia, and a little more care. I haven't broken anything yet. Yes. Are you intending to? You never can tell. No. You never can. Oh, moving, moving. It seems to me ever since David and I got married, we've been moving. It's a good thing I like it. Look, uh, I need some more newspaper. We've used up all the Sunday papers. I didn't realize you had so many dishes. Yep, I thought we'd broken more. Well, I almost wish you had. (laughs) Here, Mama. Thank you, Mrs. Lawton. You're welcome, Mrs. Brown. Whoops! Uh, What's the matter? I just noticed something. If you're going to stop to read all the advertisements, we'll never get finished today. You know, I need a teapot. This one would match the rest of our set perfectly. It's already past six o'clock. But I don't think I like the spout on it. David will be home in a few minutes. Otherwise, it's a very nice shape. Claudia, have you heard one word I've said? Certainly, Mama. All right. What have I said? Don't you remember? (laughs) Really, you're impossible. Here, tell me what you think of it. Mm, It's not bad. No. Might match the rest of your set. Say, it's already past six o'clock. But I think you're right. The spout's rather an odd shape. Do you realize David will be home in a few minutes? However, if you need a teapot, uh, this one might not be... Mama, have you heard one word I said? What was that? You know perfectly well. (laughs) Now, how do you like talking to a stone wall? I love it, Mrs. Stonewall. Here, hand me a cup. I'll wrap it up. We've got four full cases right now. Come on, enough dawdling. Me dawdling? Let's get through with this china packing. I don't want to be here all night. Strange, I don't mind. And you better get used to it, too. Hmm? Get used to what? Spending all night with us. On the farm, you'll be spending all night with us. Oh, will I? All under one roof again. Under one roof? Well, how many do you think we have? Of course, I realize that David is a marvelous architect. But even so, Mama, sorry, only one roof. Well, uh, that's too bad because one roof's not enough for me. It isn't? No, it isn't. Since when? Oh, since a long time. Since how long? Mm, Months. How many? Oh, I should say several. Six and a half, maybe? Mm Mm-hmm, just about. One roof for me and one for you and David. Isn't that a little extravagant? No, on the contrary. It's the only practical thing. Mama, I... What? I need another piece of wrapping paper. Well, here you are. You better go easy. You're up to yesterday's newspaper. I still haven't broken anything, have I? (laughs) No. (laughs) You've been very good. Why should I break anything? I'm perfectly well able to take care of myself. I know, I know. I don't really need anybody. Nobody needs anybody. All anybody needs is not to love anybody. Then everything would be wonderful all the time. Yeah, I can't think of anything more depressing. I can. Lots of things. Hmm? I don't see what's so terrible about people who love each other wanting to be together. Well, there isn't. Well, then, for heaven's sakes, why won't you come and live with us up in the farm? I don't want to. You don't? I thought you liked the farm. Claudia, I think the farm is beautiful. It's perfect. It's, it's, it's cozy and real and it's exciting, but, well, it's not for me. And the way you've been raving about cows and trees and brooks all these weeks, I expected you wanted to live there with us. I'm sorry, but... I kept hoping you'd realize that I wouldn't come to live with you. Claudia, you're not surprised, are you? Me surprised? Of course not. And I don't intend to worry about you sitting home alone, not cooking yourself a proper dinner, not having anyone to go to the movies with, just sitting by the window. Well, I must say, you draw a very flattering picture of me. You make me sound like a very ancient old lady without a friend in the world. Oh, Mama, come and live with us. We won't bother you, I promise. David designed the house with a room and bath just for you. Why, he did? 
I didn't know it. Well, it was meant to be a surprise. Well, that was very sweet of David. Now will you come? Mm-hmm. Weekends. I don't think you love your grandson at all. Well, we're not very well acquainted yet. Even if you don't love me or David, you should love your grandson enough to want to live where he's going to be born. Claudia, there's absolutely no use to all of this. Then there's no use to anything. Mom, it's not as if we were going to live together in one tiny apartment. We have 80 acres. And what will I do? Pitch my tent on the very farthest end of your estate? I'm suggesting that you stop being so proud and independent and that you come and live with us. And, Mom, it's not because I can't get along without you anymore. It's only that... Well, I, I just don't see why, when the world's as miserable as it is, that we, we shouldn't grab everything that we can. That's fine for today, Claudia, but it, it may make tomorrow a lot more miserable when you, when you have nothing left to grab. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Well, tomorrow can be a lot easier by the way you prepare for it today, believe me. I just can't believe it, Mama. Your mind's really made up? Yes. It's been made up for a long time, Claudia. David's going to be very disappointed, that's all I can say. Oh, I don't think so. You know, it, it, it's not as if you were going to Kalamazoo or Siberia... I'll be right here whenever you want me. Oh, it's only a plate. I'm glad I broke it. That's David, I'll bet. Mama, my eyes aren't red, are they? Oh, David will never notice. My, my, what a domestic scene. We practically finished packing away the china, and I only broke one little saucer. Oh? Where did I put that little gold metal to hang on? <laughs> Next time you move, David, she won't break any. Next time we move. I've had enough moving to last me a lifetime. <laughs> I can well imagine. Well, we're finally moving into the house on Friday. You know, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Not at all like what I imagined it'd be like. Well, things never are. My goodness. What a lot of philosophy. Now, if you two will get out of here, I'll clean things up so we can get on with dinner. Mrs. Brown, you've done enough for one day. I will clean things up. Nonsense, and don't worry. I have no intention of cooking dinner. What part of your nose, go on? This kitchen is all yours. Very helpful around the house, your mother, isn't she? Oh, I, I can manage perfectly without her. It's just as easy to do something yourself as show some other person how to do it. Mm. More philosophy. <laughs> Come on, darling. You can sit on the edge of the bathtub while I shave. That's big of you. David, when you're through, you can move these boxes out into the hall. You flatter me, Mother, but I'll do my best. Oh, darling. It's almost Friday. I wish we could have found a maid before we moved. In a way, I'm glad we didn't. I'd much rather start living with you in our house with nobody else around. Just the two of us. That's all that's necessary, isn't it? Mm, that's... That's all, darling. It's going to be the two of us all our lives, isn't it? I suppose someday our children will marry, go away someplace, leave us. Now, hold your horses now. Our children. Aren't you looking a little far ahead? You might as well know what's coming. All I know that's coming is one small baby, and he's not coming until the end of June. That's not what I mean, darling. I can stand here and tell you what... Everything's going to be like for years and years and years. Oh? Since when have you developed second sight? It doesn't take second sight. All you have to do is decide the way you want things to be, and then it'll probably be just the opposite. But darling, you... You don't sound like you at all. Don't I? No. That's good. Oh, David, you'll always be with me, won't you? I hope so. Just hope so. Well, that's the most I can do. Now, you run into the bathroom and wash your eye, wash your face and hands. Aren't you going to shave? Of course, I'm going to shave. But I'm, well, I'm thirsty. I, I think I'll go in the kitchen and get a glass of water. Well, be quick about it. Yes, ma'am. Mother, come out from behind those cups and saucers. I want to talk to you. Well, now what? Claudia's washing. She. She won't hear us. Oh, then she told you. No, she didn't say anything. Oh. Not directly, anyway. So you've, you've decided not to move up to the farm with us, huh? Yes, that's what I've decided. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, you're as bad as Claudia. You're, you're only moving one hour from New York. Only an hour. That's, that's 
That's right, but... But a very big change, Well, Mother. it'll be a good change. You won't be able to get rid of me, I, I promise you. <laughs> I'll be up every weekend. And then when the baby comes, Claudia's life will be so full. It'll, it'll work out best this way, David. You're a very generous mother, Mrs. Brown. You want to give your daughter away completely, don't you? Yes, but she's not my daughter anymore. She's your wife, and she's going to be your son's mother. Claudia is going to have her hands full, isn't she? These next few months, I mean. Getting the, the house settled and then the baby. I I wish we could have found a maid before we moved in. Well, the busier she is at first, the better. Well, Mother, I think we ought to make it as easy for Claudia as possible. I think you ought to come and live with us for a while at first until we find our bearings. David, you don't want me... Uh, this is your home. It's, it, it's yours and Claudia's. It is our home. We can do with it as we like, and what we like is to have you with us. Well, I'm I'm very flattered. Well, don't be. Why, you can you can even make yourself useful around the house. There'll undoubtedly be a lot of cleaning, a lot of sewing, and a lot of work to be oh, done. I never minded work. <laughs> well, that's good. In other words, you. You want your mother-in-law for a maid, Oh, huh? you can call it what you like, Bridget. <laughs> oh, you're, you're sure this is the right thing, David? Positive. Well, I won't stay very long. Just, just time enough to get you settled and to let Claudia get used to being a farmer's wife. You won't mind? Mind? Oh, David, I guess there's room under one roof for all of us. But it's your roof, David. I, I'll only borrow it for a little while, I promise. Now, look, I, I've gone and broken a cup. <laughs> I guess I'm a sentimental old lady after all. So am I, and I'm proud of it. I know you're in and out of the variety store often, grateful for the many articles so conveniently gathered at the 5 and 10 for your selection. This week, look especially for nationally advertised brands. Because the week of April 12th is being celebrated as Nationally Advertised Brands Week in variety stores, and you're bound to find things that are just what you need in conveniently packaged sizes. While you're about it, look for the familiar red cooler or soda fountain and treat yourself to ice-cold Coca-Cola and shop refreshed. Well, Mr. King, it looks like I was talked into something, doesn't it? And Claudia will be mighty glad that you were, Mrs. Brown. Well, I admit it, I... I'm glad, too, and I think David was right. You don't wean a mother all at once. Well, are you going to be leaving on Friday with Claudia and David? I I think I'll join them on Monday. I'll, I'll give them the weekend. Well, tomorrow night's going to be Claudia and David's last night in town, then. Wonder how they'll spend it. I wonder. Uh, I have a feeling that it's going to be a pretty important evening in their lives. Well, I have a feeling your feeling is right. Well, we'll find out how that important evening is spent tomorrow. Well, see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Brown. As I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.